tell me the origin again for people who are not not uh, uh, up on the piece. So Peace Week is something that uh, Life Camp and Man Up Inc. started 10 years ago here in New York City. And we started it because women started to be shot in the street cold-bloodedly. And at the point where you see people shooting women and just degrading women like that so ravishly, uh, we... we you have to halt the brakes, you know? There's a saying that you, you can tell a lot by society, by the way it treats its women and its children. Um, we have children in cages in America right now. Yes. And, and what you're saying, even especially in our community, there was a time when there was something sacred. And, you know, we could argue, well, women aren't acting because you hear brothers. But well, y'all not acting like, well, right. but which came first? Right. If we're chicken and egg in this, right. usually people behave the way they're treated. And regardless to, to how they act in, as the king man, you need to treat the woman as the queen woman, you know, um, regardless to how she's acting. It is like we can't go around the world just treating everyone like how they're acting and forgetting who we are, you know? Right. It would be, ha- I mean, it is havoc, and we it would be more havoc. Um, we have to step into the square from a space of consciousness and a space of respect and space of what your mama's taught us, you know? Um, what happened you, to that, Erica Ford? You know, I feel like did people just stop raising their children at some point? Like, did they just like they go to actually, hell? The hell with raising values and morals, and so they actually did stop raising their kids. And the ACS raised their kids, and BCW raised their kids. And For people t- outside of New York, those are child yes. protective services. Yes, government so agencies. When the crack ec- epidemic hit around the world, around the nation, um, in the 80s and the 90s, a lot of people's houses got broken up. The husbands went to jail, the mothers were addicted to drugs, or they just started to neglect their children and their children got taken away. And and therefore, they did stop raising their kids. And no one ever came back to the community and helped people heal. There wasn't no a bunch of therapists and a bunch of healers coming in and helping people heal from that addiction of that whole lifestyle, right? And so... We talk about the 80s babies, and then they gave them Ritalin and all of those other drugs that didn't help them heal. It just made them worse, you know? And so, so yes, there was a society, and then they gave birth to kids. And then the cycle and the generational trauma just impacted and infected us all. And so this is the schizophrenia that you see now in the music because they're still taking the drugs, and they're still fighting from the pain, but they're not getting healed from the pain. So how how did this start in London? So Peace Week, right? We we wanted to do the concept Peace Week, and we Googled Peace Week and <laughs> saw that it was something that happened in London. And so we, we took the concept of what happened in London and brought it here to New York. And, okay, so and... pause for anatomy's sake, because I think, you know, people like to do things. I was just talking about this with somebody today. I said, I don't know why people, like, if you want to write a book, go to the bookstore, the kind of book you want to write. There's probably a whole section. Yes. Check out all of the books that are there. <laughs> Follow the model. Yes. <laughs> Why does your book not look like any other book in a book? We always like, there's yeah. already a model. Yes. You wanted to do something. Yes. You Google searched. There was something already out there. You took the parts of it that worked and yes. brought it to your. Yes. Thank you. And, and we did it. And uh, five years ago, it became official part of New York City calendar. And so, like, there's Fleet Week and Fashion Week in New York. There's Peace Week in New York. And so, so this is on the books. It's on the books. With the mayor. With the mayor. Okay. What happens during Peace Week? So, during Peace Week, there's a forgiveness dinner where we bring together both sides of the gun to come together and pay recognition to the whole process of healing and forgiveness and recognizing that both families are impacted by the violence and the epidemic of gun violence. All right. Both sides. How do you get people to a dinner? who have shot each other well erica ford oh <laughs> so so because this is your yeah your, so people who don't know you are known for going into spaces where people shoot at each other oh, very much so <laughs> and this is this has been the thing that you've done um and what you're most known for in res creating a resolution yes 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 and so the way we do it is through conversation and consistency and getting people to buy in. And, and sometimes people are, after a while. So it takes after, time. It takes a lot of time <laughs> and a lot of healing, you know. And so so we might not have the person who shot your son, you know, there with you. We have had that in the past, but uh, more so it's just families who have they, been impacted by violence. Right, or, on both or, sides. 
Wow. So wow. some people who have been in jail for murder or, you know, whose son is in jail for murder. Are at the table together. Yes. Breaking bread. Yes. Tell me something that's happened maybe last year, the year before, that has been pivotal or life-changing at one of these dinners. Um. So uh, one mother... Um, definitely saw the need to go and visit the person who killed her son. Um, and so now we're working with her to get her to go visit. After coming to the dinner, she was changed? Or so she... I can say during the process, I'm not going to say like that dinner is specific, but the process of the dinner and the work and the whole conversation of forgiveness. And she called me up and was like, I'm ready. You know, and so we're working with her to do that. Okay. So there's a dinner. And, and then this what year, um, Deepak was there. And Deepak said that. Deepak Chopra? Yes. Okay. He said that he was going to make a clone of Erica Ford so that after I'm gone, I could still be here. Yes, we need that. Oh. <laughs> Can he do now, that? Now he's working on one of Deepak, a twin Deepak. You know, his brother is a doctor. Yes. It's, he's not a medical doctor. He is a medical doctor. Is he a doctor. medical doctor? Yes, he is. Deepak Chopra? Yes. So his whole family are doctors? Yes. We had both of them on. Um, so he's making a clone of himself? As, and Erica Ford. Don't forget I that. think I'd like the Erica <laughs> Ford clone. I don't know if I'm... That's kind of narcissistic, Deep Rock Ch Chopra. He, want, he has to be continued after he leaves to teach his grandchildren and his great-grandchildren. This is great, some great, watchman great. making his yeah. own <laughs> grandbaby, grandmother. He could come on another day and tell okay. you about that. Okay, all right, that, all right. Well, I'm not mad at the Erica Ford. That came out the dinner. That came out the dinner. That came out the shit. dinner. Okay, I'm not mad at that. <laughs> yes. I'm not mad at that. All right, so after the peace dinner, what, what happens next? Um, so we have um, a lot of series of events. We had Bowling for Peace this year. We had um, the open mic. We had... Um, Bowling for Peace. Yeah, so I'm all of the different that. sites came together. There's a, a major press conference. At the press conference, we do it on City Hall steps. So this year we saw Mayor de Blasio walking inside of his office. And so we, we spoke to him and, and spoke to him about having the crisis management system and folks. And so he obliged. And during Peace Week, we had a luncheon with him at, at Gracie Mansion, the, the different sites who do the gun violence prevention work. So that was a good thing. And he re... Um, fortify the work and, and the support. And one of the things that is very important for us uh, to continue to make peace on a national level is so that the support from the people who do the work on the ground, like Erica Ford around the nation, get the same kind of support like the Giffords Foundation or the Every Town or the March for Our Lives. And so that's why it's important to come on radio shows like this and, and help make peace cool, you know? Yes. Your, your jacket is cool. Your whole everything is cool. All right. So this year, 10th annual you've been doing this 10 years and each year last year was the the peace bus yes y'all still doing the bus the, oh definitely the, the <laughs> big giant bus that goes around and it, it we gotta is, pull it up here so that you can get on it i would love to we gotta I would love to what, what happens on that bus let me well, before i say yes what's going on on the bus so, erica i'm gonna start at the back of the bus no i don't want to start at the back yeah we're gonna right. start at the back All of the right. bus we have pain on beats where people go into a full-fledged recording studio and drop their bars and they pain and just get it out, right? And so some mothers, families go in there and just scream, just yell, just say whatever. Then we have the punching bag where you can get it out like that. Punch the bag, get it out. Don't pick up no gun, don't shoot nobody, get it out. And so then we also have, right next to that, how I, ironic the schizophrenia, we have the yoga and meditation little space. <laughs> <laughs> we have like or the sound baths, the you know where we do the soothing and meditation. Like, was it like that the the crunching of paper and the yes 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 oh, ding, and the waterfalls okay. and all of that. Nice. And then also in that space, multi-purpose, we have the computers where we have a little tech lab, and then also in that space we have the gaming section for the kids to just play games and get out of the streets and and come inside. And that bus goes around. Uh, it goes to hot spots. It goes to incidents of violence. It goes to events, uh, into communities where situations just happen. So just like you might see the police set up in different neighborhoods, we want to be there and set up to bring peace while right. there's other stuff going on. So we also have... No, I just wanted to, speaking of police, I've noticed in the last year that there's a difference in the police in New York City. Have you noticed that? Like in makeup, demographic, diversity, and behavior. Have you noticed that? Is well, I don't know what the difference is that you see. Is it a good it's difference? It's a good difference. 
Well. Huh? Tell me. So. This, Maybe it's just in Manhattan? I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely okay. just in Manhattan. Okay, they're putting all of the good people in Manhattan. Yeah, in. definitely. Yeah. Okay. Um, in our neighborhoods, I see um, I see a lot of coming back to the stop and fricks type of behavior. Really? Um, where they're jumping Under de Blasio? Out. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, where they're jumping out on people and um and 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 sna- and you know putting them roughly on the ground. Um, I do see both. I see the the community partnership, but I also see some people who don't want to conform to the new policies and procedure. You know, will they clean it up and and get it right? I I hope so. I give them to opportunity to have peace come into their lives. I like that. 